Still opening his Twitch partner. Do, 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 do. He's, he's got he's one. Got he got one. one. Performance is surgery <laughs> over here. <laughs> I didn't know they were selling those. They're selling them now. I, I finally watched for the first time National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. For the oh. first time? Oh my God. I haven't seen it yet, man. It's a, yeah, is it a Christmas movie. I gotta say, <laughs> it's a film. It is a film. It yeah. does sound like that. Yeah. It is a film, all right. <laughs> all right that's, that's been my weekly uh, Chevy Chase mention. All right. Nice. Thank, nice. thank you for the Chevy Chase corner, Bear. <laughs> um, we should get this... Chevy Chase on the podcast. I bet he'd do it. I don't think he's doing a lot lately. Yeah, that's right. True. He'd probably hop on. We Actually, I'm Gilbert pretty sure Godfrey he's like... <laughs> doing the best Chevy Chase impersonation while doing the Chevy Chase corner. There we go. I was I was gonna say I'm 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 actually it's it's gonna be another one of those times because I'm pretty sure Chevy Chase is like a big asshole. Oh is he? no, yeah, I think oh. so. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I, I don't want to besmirch. Well, that's anymore. my weekly big asshole corner. Back to you, <laughs> friend. Oof. Oof. Uh, I'm staying away from that corner. Mm, it does not smell good. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't want to go in this corner either. Welcome to football. Welcome oh, to football. Yeah. Yeah. football. football. We're talking about sports here. Oh, sport. Um, well, we're in the final two weeks of the oh, season. The ultimate week. Yeah. yeah. Normally, this would be the last week, but, you know. That's we true. We added one in for fun. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna for be so money. much fun when everyone dies that week. <laughs> yeah, it's already it's... happened. <laughs> yeah, everyone's already fucking dead. Dude, Malik jokes now. on you. My quarterback already got it. He was immunized. Yeah. All right, take that. <laughs> um, <laughs> woo, yay, uh, yay. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least you didn't lose your number one running back, number one wide receiver, and number one or number two wide receiver in the same game. I mean, it's yeah. Tom Brady. He's going to, like, piece together, like, a stick of bubble gum and, like, a paper clip and win. <laughs> uh, Probably. I mean, I lost, like, half my team, and I I still won my playoff game against yeah. Bears. You yeah. sure <laughs> fucking did, didn't you? Great week in fantasy football playoffs. Well, I'm not talking about fantasy. I'm talking about Oh, we're talking about some fantasy, because I'm playoffs. still... I'm- I'm pissed off at the Washington football hogs for forcing me to watch three and a half quarters of garbage football at a 35 point deficit just to see if Terry McLaurin was going to catch a fucking pass. And he, did. he did catch that pass. Yeah, for, for context, uh, It was a very close game between me and Bear. I was uh, losing, and Yahoo expected me to lose pretty much the whole day until I made a massive comeback. And then I had one player left, Terry McLaurin, uh, and Bear was still ahead of me by like 1.7. Yeah. (laughs) And then uh, Terry McLaurin just wouldn't catch a single goddamn football the whole, the, for, for three, three whole quarters. Mm -hmm. Yep. I thought I was going to lose. I actually he was targeted, thought I was... too. He just couldn't get a catch. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I'd feel bad for you if Christmas wasn't ruined by Aaron <laughs> Rodgers and Devontae Adams getting 54 points <laughs> in one game. Yeah, that was 54. So... Yeah, you're yeah. death knell early, at least, man. I mean, the, to be fair, though, y'all had like a 50-50 game basically all, all the way through. To it the was end, pretty intense. It, it was, was very constantly close, yeah. like, oh, you're going to win. Sinvicta's going to win. You're going to win. Sinvicta's right. going to win. 59 points, not 54. My bad. <laughs> I ended up winning by just under four points thanks to Great. Morrow on the Raiders catching a like 40 yard pass towards the end of the game. And thanks to the Pittsburgh Steelers for not getting <laughs> Najee Harris any touchdowns. Yeah, appreciate mm-hmm. that. And also, <laughs> shout out 
to Joe Burrow for throwing 10 billion touchdowns. Bro, not he went of them. off. That not was a single a one game. of them to my receiver, Bear. Right, yeah. Just Man. one Man. goddamn about touchdown. It. Just one of those would have did it. Why couldn't you have played T. Higgins? You would have won the game easily. A touchdown from any of my starters, and Crendor loses. And this isn't even a thing. <laughs> None yeah, of my uh, starters got a touchdown. I'm mean, like, instead, instead, we're looking at a uh, return to the championship for uh, Mr. Alpaca. A patrol who's who's oh, yeah, on the verge says. of back-to-back -back fantasy championships it's very possible i think it's it my happen. first one i've been in oh uh, well, first week. finals right yeah oh yeah. yeah gee i remember my first time <laughs> <laughs> did you win it i did actually that's yeah. a good sign <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it is the season of giant killers bear was in first i was in second rob and crendor both beat us barely yeah, mm -hmm. Amon Ross St. Brown would have got Barely. me 26 points this week, yeah. but I started Kendrick Bourne yeah. instead, who got me five. I'm so pretty this sure I week... left about 50 points on my bench, so I don't want to yeah, fucking hear it. <laughs> well, you know, that means next week I'm going to start him and he's not going to do anything. <laughs> right. Well, there is no next week. Well, well he's got a, he's got a third. Or, oh, you've got the finals. You and me, though, Sin Victor, we're fighting for third place. And I got to tell you, I do want that bronze. I mean, you can have it because I don't care. No, by all means, I'll take it. I mean, you you could release all of your players so that I can take them. Literally none of You, you want to know? Here, I'm going to name the, besides the quarterback, I'm going to name the starter that got me a touchdown. Ready? Mm -hmm. Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. Yeah. The you know, end. Doing pretty well. And I still got 133 points. And I, it, like any of my starters score a touchdown, Crendor loses. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you were up, up, fifty-nine points, if you if you were up against either me or Bear, you would have won. So I'm well aware, Rob. <laughs> well aware. Yeah. Well, that's good good to luck games. to you. Good luck to you in the finals, Rob. May the best. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. May the best win. I hope yes. you both tie. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a good what battle. Happens if that happens. Big time battle. Me and Rob have played each other twice this year already, and I believe yep. Rob won. Both of them actually. Um, or actually, did I win one? I, th I, don't know. I think I think we're one and one, but I maybe maybe I'm wrong. We might be one and one actually. So we'll just say it's one and one for intensive purposes. It makes it more exciting. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I got the pick him. I got the pick him's crown wrapped up. So. I don't know oh. about that, mm -hmm. um, Anyway, before we start these games, big news from the Jaguars front office: they will be retaining Trent Balk for some reason. Oops. Yep. Who? Oh. Uh, yeah. it's, like, it's like bulky, Bul bulky. Yeah, bulky. Or, or Either way, like that, he's right? assembled Ball one hair. of the worst yeah. <laughs> rosters and hired one of the worst coaches, and somehow he's just keeping his job. So, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Well, you I do things time. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give every GM three years to just suck shit, you know? Yeah. I, I wonder, though, too, because like, I feel like uh, the Urban Meyer hire. Urban Meyer hire. <laughs> I feel like it. Uh, it see. I don't know. I, I. I. This is completely baseless speculation here. But it really seems like the kind of hire that an owner would make. You know, yeah. like like a uh, like Shad Khan was like uh, like yeah, get this guy. People love Urban Meyer. His name's in the news all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Like, <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. You're, you're buying. You're buying the brand. You're not buying the product. There, the quality yeah. is not there. No. Yeah. I did a, uh, I did see a tweet of Trent Balky kicked C.J. Henderson in his sore hamstring during camp. What the fuck is with all these people kicking the players? <laughs> no wonder he wanted Urban Meyer. This is absurd. Wait, you kick him too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> get over here. Yeah, like, uh... I like tires. Someone else has got to kick these guys. <laughs> yeah. Stop kicking people. Stop yeah. it. It's rude. Didn't it's... you learn that when you were a kid? It's one of the easiest things to not do. Yeah. I, well, I don't think I've kicked someone since I was a child. It was... Uh, it takes no effort to not kick somebody. Yeah. It's pretty or wild. Stab them. I'm not stabbing anybody right now. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> um, Jacksonville Jaguars, everybody. So, this week, we had football. football. Uh, Good. We did have football, Coach. Third. Thank you. Thursday nighter was the Titans taking down the 49ers last second field goal. Uh, yep. Winning that game. It was a close one. Uh, biggest yeah. story, I think, here is Jimmy G is going to be out, apparently. Oh, really? 
Yeah, apparently he broke his thumb or tore something. Oh, oh that's like, so is he out out? He's that's a good quick fractured. So. He has a torn UCL fracture in right thumb. So he's got multiple things. Oh, in, in the thumb. right thumb. Yeah, no, yes. that's oh man, that actually really sucks because that's like the kind of injury that'll that'll last too. Yeah. So that's uh, not looking too good. So it might be Trey Lance time. It'll definitely be Trey Lance for the next game. I'm not sure about week mm -hmm. eighteen. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how that unfolds. Either way, the uh, Titans came back after being really bad in the first half. They're down like ten to nothing, mm. uh, and then they win twenty seventeen. <laughs> Big game for AJ Brown, one hundred forty five yards and a touchdown. Oh, I remember mm. this game now. Yeah, he literally just turned on. Like he was yeah. just like, okay, time to win the game, and just yeah. literally caught everything. Like Dan, yeah. he just threw every ball to Brown, and he caught every ball. It was literally just the AJ Brown game for the Titans. Like that was it. He had Nobody a, else did anything. He had a sixty percent target share. That's yeah. just that's <laughs> fucking nuts. Yeah, you know, I, I like, I, I've I've just been mulling over my thoughts about the Titans in my head just now, and it's like it is it is wild to me that they've won so many games without Derrick Henry because mm -hmm. I really thought that their whole offense ran through him, yeah. pretty much like they they, they did. Yeah, and they're, then they're like struggling to win games now. Yeah, they, true. They lost to the Steelers. Yeah, I mean that's true, but they they're still the winning. Texans. <laughs> yeah, but I mean they're still Texans. winning. They're, they're still, they are they're still, still winning. winning. And 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 the 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 my secondary, uh, you know, thought that I had was that they didn't need to run Derrick Henry into the fucking ground because they're still winning games. Yeah, you know, like that. Yeah. That's that's that. You know, it, I feel like it was unnecessary to run him thirty times a game. Well, yeah. I feel like we uh, I, we kind of said this before, too, because I remember saying that the person that wants Derrick Henry to, to be run into the ground the most is Derrick Henry, right? Like, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. certain that he was going to want to be the workhorse and the opportunity that he was given. So True, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I, I think that while obviously you would like to avoid long-term injury to your best player, there's also certainly an argument to be made that, like, you should always use your best player when you can, you know? That is yeah. very true, yeah. Um, but he should be back for the playoffs, which is probably the biggest thing. Yeah, that that would be huge if he if he is back for the playoffs. Yeah, playoffs. It's, uh, playoffs. Playoffs. I heard rumors he might be back the final week of the season. But I mean, if you hit that point, you might as well. There's no reason yeah, at all. Like, should, why? They're already yeah. in the playoffs, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just let them let them sit. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting. Plus, for the 49ers now, they're trying to fight for a playoff spot with but with Garoppolo hurt. Who yeah, knows if they can hold tough. it? Because they are currently tied with the Eagles for the final two NFC spots. Every other NFC team has clinched. Packers, Cowboys, Rams, Buccaneers, and Cardinals have all clinched. So it is literally down to just 49ers, Eagles in the hunt. And then on the bubble, you've got Vikings, Falcons, and Saints. Not the yep. most exciting Yeah, Vikings are the only one that can really... <laughs> There's yeah, also yeah, Washington, nice. but I'm not even going to include them after that. Yeah. They need a miracle the um, NFC South champions, coach. Woo. Yep, NFC South champions. I forgot they didn't even win it last year. I thought they won it yeah. last year. No, we went through the wild card. It yeah. was the Saints. That's yeah. right. Um, Wild. So anyway, that but was Tennessee. That was Tennessee. <laughs> then mm -hmm. we had the Packers-Browns. Mm -hmm. A Christmas classic. It's great. <laughs> Just, that's All right, great. I forgot this is a Christmas game, yeah. Browns kind of threw this game, right? Baker oh, Mayfield did they? Threw this game, made, yeah, yeah. 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 Threw, threw yeah, it four times. Yeah, he yeah. threw it right to the other team <laughs> four times. What he did. Four yeah. interceptions for Baker Mayfield. Not very good. Last one was kind of controversial because they were like, he kind of pulled the jersey, which he kind of did, but he also got offensive pass interference. Like, he shoved them. They were honestly just letting him play at that point. And uh, the the biggest goof there was they literally were just running the ball fine. And then they're like, let's pass. And then they threw a pick, which why would you just not keep running? Like, you're probably going to run into field goal range and you can kick a field goal, win the game. That's I mean, what I was worried not, about. It's not like Nick Chubb was doing anything with his 17 carries for 126 <laughs> yards and a touchdown. Yeah. Seven and a half yard average, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The defense is worn down. It's the end of the game. It's like, uh, I don't know fucking throw it again but we've thrown three picks already yeah 
Uh, oh, someone's shit. bound to catch it. <laughs> and they're so, going with the Jameis Winston. There's 22 there. guys on the field. I mean, one of them's going to catch it. <laughs> yeah, like teams are so much more scared to run the ball lately because of how like it feels like most bad teams are like run, run, pass teams for the longest time. It felt like there were just years and years of run, run, pass. Yeah. And now it's a passing league. But there's these really, really good running backs showing up like Derrick Henry and, and Dalvin mm-hmm. Cook and uh, Chubb. And, and it's like, no, you can just you, you can run the ball now again. Like you can yeah. do it. Keep doing it. And the team just dump are, it off to him. Well, the teams are also built now to defend the pass because they're like, oh, pass. Yeah. You got to build to defend the pass. So they got all these like, you know, not as like big guys Smaller, up front. Yeah. And then now they just run through. Them. Mm hmm. So and then it you know it kind of just flip flops and so now it'll probably go a little bit more towards that and then you know it's yep. ever changing. I hope Nick Chubb finds success because it would be it'd be terrible for someone as good as him to end up being like an Andre Johnson yeah. or a Larry Fitzgerald where you just you you do well you do well but you're the only one who's doing well on the team. It's, uh, Dude, like with the, the Browns back. even because they're like a run heavy offense and they have a good offensive line but like. Uh, after watching Baker Mayfield, I was like, I don't know if he's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's not like the Packers' secondary is go- is great. Like he he was just throwing up air balls to him. Like, I think it, it's pretty good this year, right? The like, secondary is pretty good this year, but some of those passes he made weren't even like yeah. Like he looked first the first pick, he literally was like launched it into double coverage down the field. Like it wasn't even good. Yeah. <laughs> it was overthrown. It not only yeah. was it thrown in double coverage, it was overthrown by a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's pretty much almost 50% accuracy for this game. Like, it's yeah. not good. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the season's pretty much over. Like, they can still yeah. get in, but it's tough. Yeah. yeah. I can't. They didn't help themselves by losing. <laughs> no. Yeah. New York I mean... Times gives them a 13% chance to make the playoffs still. Oof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They need some help. They need to win and they need help. <laughs> Like it's it's not good, yeah. Um, but that's fine with me. Packers still on the one seed track. That's all that matters. Get that one <laughs> seed. It's <That's> great. <laughs> Get that one seed. Um. Then we had Colts Cardinals later that night. Mm-hmm. The Cardinals have lost their mojo. Like yeah. they were, they yep. looked like literally unstoppable, and now they just kind of look like a regular good team now. Yeah, and it's like. Tyler was going off for the it's, first like five to six games of the season, and he significantly cooled down. It's yeah. not the time you want to start cooling off. This is the yeah. time you want to yeah. start cooling off. Like, well, if I'm liking a team, I'm liking the Colts because the Colts are heating up. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, you know, well, I mean, Rams are heating up. Like, it, 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 can I get an explanation for where Jonathan Taylor fucking came from? This dude is nuts. Like, yeah, we haven't talked so about good. him at all. Yeah. Uh, 108 <laughs> yards on 27 carries. This game. <coughs> Rob <Sorry>. is dead. <laughs> um, that's probably because he's got Jonathan Taylor on his team. He can't handle yeah. it. It's too much. He's getting overwhelmed. It's so true. Yeah. <laughs> second round pick last year for the Colts. Yep. Did not have a huge year last year, but has just, like, taken over man like i wouldn't say he didn't have a huge year last year he got well, not a huge year pretty good year last year but like yeah. this year he's having a huge year he's, he's this being... year's like insane well yeah he's, insane. he's already be- he's already beaten but i mean for a rookie for a rookie numbers a ro- especially a rookie running back in this league he yeah. had 100 he had 1100 yards yeah he had 1169 yards and 11 touchdowns that's pretty damn good. that's pretty damn good yeah no you're not yeah. wrong for sure for a rookie, but yeah, no, he's, but yeah just, he's already he's already surpassed what he's what he's done so 1500 far. 1500 goddamn yards this season, 17 touchdowns, added on to another 36 catches for 300. Like this dude is a huge part of this offense. Yeah. 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 How um, many yeah, and he even caught two touchdowns too. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, he's an MVP in my eye. I know that the, they're going to give it to fucking Rodgers or Brady or some shit, but like he's he's the MVP this season so far. Like just no yeah. question, I think. I'd still give it to Derrick Henry just cuz he's insane. Like the, dude, the fact is, that Henry's still fifth in touchdowns is fucking <laughs> that is wild. He hasn't actually. played in ten weeks. Like that Jesus. is absurd. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's actually kind of funny because the Colts and the Titans are in the same division and they're like kind of the same team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they have a slightly above average quarterbacks with powerhouse running backs with like decent defenses and like a couple solid wide receivers. Yeah. Oof, man, if you're if you're Cardinals fans, you are panicking. It, it's crisis mode now. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this the, is a nightmare for sure. The yeah. free fall has begun, and 
this well they're, I mean, they're in so like you can you can at least take a little bit of a breather and try to like figure out what the hell's going on because they are in now they right? are yeah in. they got yeah. the wild card well, yeah yeah but this ain't the time to start slumping either exactly <laughs> yeah. no, no i just mean like it's not like they're they're falling off and like oh no we might miss the playoffs now but, no they're not yeah, missing they the playoffs. Need to, they need to figure their shit out but they have time yeah. is what i'm saying they, last they year they actually now. uh fell apart at the end and missed the playoffs it was like the same thing that happened last year yeah but now they're at least in the playoffs they don't have to worry as much but still like first round now you lose the division at this rate to the rams and then you fall to fifth which means you're probably gonna end up playing like the buccaneers or something so like, yeah that fun that is not a team you want to be playing in the playoffs <laughs> <laughs> nope. yeah first how did, week how did kyler get zero catches for seven yards in this game what the hell happened there i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just very confused by that. Yeah, hey, that is... yeah he's got a st- on this stat line. Kyler Murray zero receptions for seven yards. <laughs> that's uh, there's a I mystery don't... play that happened in this game at some point. That's I gotta look confused. back at the footage, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. It's actually that. a. Uh... I don't see that stat line. Where is I don't see. You don't see that? No. no. It's on the. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. We've, we've gone way too long into this anyway. <laughs> yeah. Chase Edmonds came back. Thank God he did because he helped carry yep. my fantasy team. 56 great. yards and a touchdown on the ground <laughs> with 71 great. through the air. Love uh, it. Uh, um, great. In the last five weeks, uh, the Cardinals have been below average offensively and below average defensively in terms of, uh, like, uh, some guy made a grab. <laughs> I'm like, there's a graph and I'm looking They're at playing it. Bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's it's yeah, it's not good. I mean, if they can just get it going in the last couple of weeks, they will probably be fine. But then like early in the season, I think they had a lot less injuries. Cause I know they had uh what's his name? JJ Watt, and then he went out. Mm. So I mean I think they've not just out though. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He's been injured for like the last four years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So pretty much. Oh, yeah, I'm losing, losing little. Oh, Cardinals play the Cowboys this week. That's po- oh, boy, possibly boy. a playoff game. Yeah, that's tough. So yeah, playoffs. I don't... playoffs. Uh, then we had Carson. By the way, before we before we transition out of this one, Carson Wentz is officially out uh, this week due to COVID protocol in a uh, kind of important game because they need to keep on winning. Yeah, yeah the Raiders. Take the division if. Or they just, you know, could have, get a better wild card spot. So, well, he's yeah. uh, also unvaccinated. So, oh, 10 days automatically, right? Yep. So he's mm, missing yeah. this week. <laughs> um, luckily, they play the Raiders. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Raiders. The Raiders. Uh, but they're still pretty, they're probably going to make playoffs. I mean, they're. They're a game up on the seven seed Dolphins. If they literally just use the best thing on their team and nothing else, they'll be fine. Yeah, you can just. It's just when put they don't use in. JT. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. when things start happening. And they start using their quarterback. That's when things start happening. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I know we are all on the same page on this, and I'm mostly just contributing to an echo chamber here. But these dumbass fucking NFL players willing to give up hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> to not get fucking yeah. vaccinated. Get a goddamn vaccination. <laughs> How are you throwing away NFL games because you can't get a fucking prick? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm still doing some research. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like okay. uh, the irony of being like, I'm just doing some research long term effects. Like, you're playing football. You got CT. <laughs> <laughs> Worried about the long term. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. um, yeah, 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 yeah. Of all the sports, <laughs> to like say that. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. Uh, then we had the Lions Falcons in a meaningless game. Well, actually, not meaningless for the Falcons, I guess. They're playing for they, the playoffs somehow. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're that's the NFC for you. They're somehow <laughs> they're still in it. So yeah, somehow bad. everyone in the NFL in the NFC South is still technically in. <laughs> it no, the Panthers, Panthers are out by now. Oh yeah, yeah Panthers, Panthers are out. Yeah, yeah the Pan- yeah, that's that is true. They were eliminated. They were mathematically eliminated this week. Man, yeah. I want my pick back, dude. I thought golf was gonna play. I didn't realize that golf was out. Yeah. I mean yeah. Tim Boyle, former Packer backup legend. 187 yeah. yards, a TD, a pick. He didn't do that bad for a backup. He did pretty well, yeah. They actually had a chance at the end to win the game. They didn't do yeah. it. The Falcons, almost Falcons it up. Yep. They literally fumbled the ball trying to run the clock out. Yep. <laughs> the, Get the all the Falcons. <laughs> so that was a fun time. Uh, yep. It was really Kyle Pitts had 102 yards. Uh, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Then we had the Rams and the Vikings. 
Yeah, These Vikings are real good at losing, man. I'm, I'm gonna yep. keep saying it. they're like they're fantastic they're the, at losing games. This was such Stafford a, had a horrible game. Yeah, it was a weird game because Stafford played terribly. He yeah. did, and that was great for my fantasy chances. <laughs> 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 yep. Um, Sonny Michelle, 131 yards and a touchdown for the. Who Rams. I left on my bench. Speaking of which, yep, <laughs> sure did. <laughs> saw that one. Uh, oh, Bear, I don't know if you saw my bench, by the way, but it's uh, 0 1 10 1 0 0 0. It, it, it's <laughs> also halfway filled with COVID 19 notes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to Cooper Cup, number one receiver in Cooper the uh, NFL, Cup. not, not mm -hmm. getting a single goddamn touchdown. Pretty awesome. Thanks, <laughs> I mean, Pat. you yep. could be too mad about 10 for 109, though. That's still I can't nice. I got one touchdown from a starting player. <laughs> Uh, and the other side, Justin Jefferson got 116 yards. Alexander Madison, 41 and a touchdown. Kirk Cousins, 315, one TD, one pick. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, looking good for the Vikings. It, yeah, I'll tell you what, though. I'm excited for Justin Jefferson. It's it's like yeah. amazing to me that they, like, it's just another year where, like, so many of their games, like, one score flop, and they're, like, you know, 12 and three or some shit right now. Like, yeah, yeah. It's magic, it's, dude. It's insane. Like, how, how can you root for this team and not just have like heart palpitations? Like, <laughs> yeah. well, they're used to it by now. I think all Vikings fans have just become completely numb to the pain. They're just like, oh yeah, we're going to miss the field goal. Obviously I'm it's happy just what happens. that like the Steelers are starting to suck enough that they just like get blown out. Like before they sucked <laughs> yeah. so, like, like exactly like this, they would just lose by one fucking score every game. But now they suck so bad that it's like, oh, I don't have to watch this game like they're gonna be <laughs> i mean the the vikings are the bears of the nfc north and that's the division the bears are in <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild yeah um and i mean at this point the rams are looking scary now like they're getting going at the right time yeah my super bowl pick that's like yeah. the one thing i want to i want to hold on to is that i said before the season started the rams are going to win the super bowl and i it's... and i just want to be right on something you know well apparently I, um it... Darrell Henderson got hurt, but Cam Akers might be returning soon. So that's another big thing. Oh, man. There's a name we haven't heard since yeah. offseason. Yeah. Uh, I am so excited to see Matt Stafford in a playoff game. Like, I feel like yeah, that is that something is that we have needed to see for over a decade now. Yeah. Has he never been the Lions? He's never. never the dude, been... of course not. He's been playing for the fucking Lions. That's <laughs> not true. He played one. No. He was in the wild. Playoff I was going to say. Oh, we did? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yep. It was against the They're, Seahawks, I believe. It was many years ago now, though, right? Yeah. It was a it was, while it was ago. It was second or third year. Uh, yeah, Bear was too busy watching Tom win Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, it was in 2016. Oh, oh really? Oh, that was, was fairly it recent. Was that, it was that. Wait, what? You, it's that not recent? that long ago. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's right. Yeah, they lost 26-6 to to the Seahawks in the wild card round. Matt Stafford oh. went 18 of 32 for 205 yards. Yep. You know, I just realized <laughs> that that's actually 2016 is uh, is about seven years ago, roughly. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's closer to huh. it's closer to five and a half, six years. But yeah. You know. Oh, wait, actually, the Lions have been in a couple playoff games here. That's that's preposterous. They didn't win yeah. any of them, but they. Are yeah. <laughs> Uh, they in 2011 they played at New Orleans and Stafford went 28 of 43 for three TDs, two interceptions, and 380 yards. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2014 they played at Dallas and lost by four points. Stafford one TD, one pick, 323 yards. Good lost God, to Tony man. Romo. In 2011, Stafford had over 5,000 yards. Good wow. yeah. Lord, yeah. The, uh, 40, uh, 41 touchdowns. Player. 41 touchdowns that season. That That's still when uh, when Megatron. Uh, Megatron was still playing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone who doesn't think he's a Hall of Fame quarterback is just out of their mind. Like, yeah, he's, he's very, always very good. That dude. Good this God. Is, I didn't realize his third year was that good. Dude, the, the Lions actually are like the Packers of championship games, but just for wild card games. <laughs> yeah. Like, since 93, they have lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wild card games. Oof. Eight. Okay, so yeah. now I'm, apparently Stafford's played in three playoff games? Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah, no, yeah, he's played in three. 2011, 2014, 2016. Yeah, jeez. Yep. That is, man. 
Detroit nobody ever Lions, watched those but... playoffs games because they assume it's... that the Lions will lose. Yeah. <laughs> Just erased them from my mind, I guess. Yeah, sure. The yeah, Lions, I mean... last time they won an actual playoff game was 1991. They won the divisional round, and then they oh, lost man, the championship game, and that was it. That's, that was it. That's <laughs> rough. That's, uh, <laughs> Jesus. It's 30 bad. years, basically. Yep. The only team worse than that is the Bengals, right? Yeah, I think so. Are they really worse than that? Yeah, I think the Bengals are a couple years before that. Jeez. Yo, here's another fun Matthew Stafford fact. Uh, he's the fastest player in NFL history to reach 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50,000 yards passing. <laughs> oh, that my God. That's pretty wild. <laughs> I suppose once you get the first one. It's probably pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, it's easier. Right? Yeah, it's easier <laughs> to keep going. Now, I will say the Bengals, even though they've lost seven wild card games in a row, uh, they did go to the Super Bowl in 1988, so they did have something fun. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> you know what their last playoff game was? A loss to the Steelers in what is still known oh, as yeah, the one. worst losses ever in football history. That was the uh, Vontez Perfect one, right? That was the Vontez Perfect. Uh, I forgot the other guy who who yeah. got mad and also. Which is just like the biggest meltdown in football history. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go look up YouTube. Go look at the playoff bang or Steelers Bengals game and watch the last like 10, 12 minutes of that game. It is just like I'm a Steelers fan and, and I just like I felt bad for him. It's just the, <laughs> the dumbest <laughs> loss ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So uh, what? What? Can, oh yeah, Rams. Matt Stafford. Good for you, Matt Stafford. Yeah. Good, good luck in the playoffs, bud. Yeah. Unless you know, you're playing the Packers. You know what's actually hilarious too is that, um, like, be at the beginning of the season, Kirk Cousins was like, you know, all guns pointed at him because he openly stated that he wasn't vaccinated, and uh, he has not caught COVID. Whereas, <laughs> like, there's been forty other players that are that were sneakily unvaccinated, all got COVID, and also vaccinated players. He's got too. his but, plexiglass, I mean, it's just, dude. Yeah, apparently his Pope mobile is working. <laughs> <laughs> And one with a fake vaccination card, so go figure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He never, he never Brown caught COVID. Special. Um, so yeah, then we had Jaguars Jets. Rob. Oh yeah. Well, uh, I mean, the <laughs> Jets hey, won. It's the Jets a twenty. Won. Yeah, twenty six to twenty one. We won the toilet bowl. It was. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was it was relatively close. Uh, you just it, ran it down their fucking throat. Zach pretty much. Wilson, ninety one yards rushing, Rob. Yes, he did. Yeah, you know, he. So here's well, the thing. All year, Zach Wilson has not been running, which is. It was weird. It was weird all year because in college he did like he, he was he was actually quite good with his legs. Um, but on the Jets, he just like wouldn't do it. Uh, in fact, it, it, he would he would be like it would seem like he was against doing it because he, you, he would be sometimes he'd be rolling, running away from people and there would be like 20 yards in front of him of open space. But instead, he'll just like huck it 40 yards downfield and throw it into five five defenders and, you know, get an interception. Yeah. Um, but in this game, he had a what was it like 50 yard touchdown rushing touchdown? Yeah, or something a good like run. That? Yeah, it was like he was he was like faster than everybody on the field there and on that one. And um, the legend yeah. of Zach Wilson <laughs> begins again. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, you know, here's another thing about Zach Wilson, by the way. He hasn't thrown a pick in, uh, I think th this is three games now. Oh, uh, no. yeah, which is actually um, it, so I have a stat here for you. QBs with over 100 passes since their last interception. Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, Joe Burrow and Zach Wilson. Number four. <laughs> wow. -wee. That is a stat. Yeah. All right. 103 passes without throwing a pick. So he's he's really pulled it together the past uh, past several weeks down the stretch, which I mean, is classic Jets football to have like the the rookie like show he's actually pretty good like at the last couple of games of the season so that's we're like true. oh yeah that's good yeah he's gonna be great we'll go in the first five games like Ooh, yeah. this guy fucking sucks like yeah. what are we thinking <laughs> just imagine the marquee of a matchup this would have been if the jags and jets were actually good to yeah have two to have two top rookie quarterbacks going against each other with like playoff implications just imagine the numbers a game like this would do that you would know pretty crazy Going into the season, this game on the schedule, I was pretty excited for. 
When it rolled around, not so much. Not so yeah, much. but your excitement waned after like the first quarter of the game of the season. Uh, so. Of the first, yeah, yeah, pretty the first as is tradition. Yeah, <laughs> as is tradition. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's uh, that's every that's every year. But hey, the um, Jets four and eleven. Rob, we got four yeah. wins, dude. Look at that. Yeah, that is uh, honestly that's that, that's that's very exciting. That's that, that's good. I mean, like. I, I suppose I could be rooting for draft position, but like this year, I I don't know. It doesn't matter. Like ah, it, fuck it, that. Yeah, exactly. Like I want to see the team do well. Like I, I don't really care about draft position. In, yeah, uh, I mean you got two top ten draft picks at this point anyway. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if they if I, hell, I'd like it if they won out the rest of the rest of the games. You know. Yeah. Um, I should also mention though, uh, that uh, Michael Carter. Uh, yet again, our running back that we that the, the a rookie running back is just he's real fucking good. Like he's he's gonna be really good next year. I think uh, he's actually I don't even know what his stats on the year are. They got to be pretty decent. The ingredients are starting to come together. Is it time <laughs> yeah. finally next year for the it's Jets to be. win seven games instead of four? <laughs> yeah, almost certainly not. If I, I found... have ever watched the Jets before. I found Michael Carter. I was going to tell you his stats, and then I realized it's the wrong New York Jets player, Michael Carter. No! The oh other current gosh. New York Jets player, Michael Carter. Correct. Yeah, you got Michael Carter, too. That's right. a big mistake. You want Michael Carter, one. That's He's currently it. looking at uh, 566 <laughs> yards on the season uh, and uh, mm-hmm. four touchdowns. Yeah, and four point two yards per carry too. Yeah. Like, uh, and and important to note, he's only started nine games, so right. Um, so he's not he hasn't started the whole year. So I mean, that's like if you if you put that out to like a whole year, that's like yeah, probably like a thousand yard season because he it's north of a thousand yeah. Yeah, so like I, I I legitimately like he's been he's been really good. He's he's uh he he's he's one of those smaller running backs too. He's like uh I think he's like five eight. Um, but he's just so sneaky and quick. Like he, he'll like he, he's one of those r- running backs that uh, you know y- you see like a horde of guys go you know uh, uh, l- jump on him and then he, s- he just slides out the of gaps. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's good. It's uh, so I'm really excited for him too because he's he's been doing uh, really well. Um, and then uh, I, you know I will say Trevor Lawrence looked like the better passer in the game. Um, with that said, he didn't throw any touchdowns on us. So mm. yeah, <laughs> you know, um, it was a good game. Uh, is uh, I'm 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 glad they won. I, I hope hopefully they keep winning. I mean, probably not, but it, it, it's the Jets. It, it gives you it gives you some hope, I guess. Which it shouldn't. <laughs> I really shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't. Have, <laughs> I shouldn't even thought that. Oh no, I've oh, just well. jinxed them. Now well, that's it. There goes next year. Good try. That's a quote yeah. for the century. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Well, then we had the Eagles Giants. Speaking of uh, teams hey, with you're... no hope. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was yeah. Gonna say, you're not the most hopeless New York team this year. Isn't that pretty great? Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, you're tied, yeah. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The Giants still are four and eleven already. <laughs> Yep. And look much worse than the Jets, if I'm being real. Like, there's, yeah. there's a lot less to be excited for on this uh, team. The, I mean, I will say that in, in their defense, the, the Philadelphia defense is much better than the Jacksonville Jaguar defense. I think like, overall, though, lot. talent level on this Giants team is way lower than the talent level oh, on the yeah. Jets. For sure, except for Saquon, who also did not do anything in this game, despite rushing 15 times. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's been having a rough year since he's come back from the injury. <laughs> I mean, the the combined effort of Mike Glennon and uh, I know it's Glennon, Glennon. but I just say Glennon. <laughs> Glennon. Glennon. To say it in, uh, Glennon. Docs. Jake Fromm. And Jake from State Farm. <laughs> yep. They combined for a grand whopping total of 118 yards and two interceptions and one <laughs> touchdown between two quarterbacks. Truly yeah. epic. Truly an epic game. Um, dinger. Mm. They don't really have receivers over there in the – New York football giants team. I they think. got Galladay. They got uh, Kadarius Tony. I have no uh, idea. Yeah, Pony. He's their rookie, I think. Yeah. Oh, he's a rookie. Okay. There's uh, a... yeah, Devontae Booker, Evan Ingram. Yeah. Andy Galladay is still uh... good. He's, they, he's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. He is good. Yeah. They do have a. Or they do have there. There was a play this game that was really weird where the Eagles dude scored a touchdown. It was Devontae Smith. And. They ruled it incomplete. Well, they call it a touchdown, 
Then they reviewed it. Then they said it's not a touchdown. Then they reviewed it again. And then they said it was a touchdown. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think I've ever seen them review a play after already reviewing it. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Reviewed the review. It came from New York because it was very clearly a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, They're just like, hey, guys. I think we've already uh, proven this season, especially, that replay doesn't matter. It's, yeah, there's so many times where we, we watch the replay challenges are just like, oh, yeah, he, he clearly stepped out of bounds. Oh, it's going to be a upheld touchdown. <laughs> yeah. like, okay, well, shouldn't watch the replay the footage. For? You shouldn't watch the replay footage. You should watch the uh, ref's bank accounts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite I mean, is when the announcers have the have their say. Yeah. They're just like, oh, yeah, that's clearly a thing. And then you hear them go like, well, I guess it's not. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. it, it, well, I mean, it seriously makes you wonder, like, what footage are these referees watching? Because yeah. if we can see it on the TV, it's clearly the dude's out of bounds. It's clearly a touchdown. Then what the hell were the referees in the under the hood watching? Because that didn't make any sense. Well, Pelotonics. see, under that under the hood, it's actually a Zoom call with a, with a bookmaker <laughs> in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> now that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> Hard pivot, though. Uh, another young receiver. Dude, we've got a lot of really exciting young talent in the re- in the league right now. And mm-hmm. Devontae Smith is another one of those first round receiver for the Eagles who yeah. is lighting it up mm-hmm. this year. And is looking real good. Yeah, he's been looking fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, he just needs someone to throw someone to throw him the ball. And uh, sometimes <laughs> Jalen Hurts can do it. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, okay. uh, first yeah. half, he could not do it. Second half, he could do it. So I'm, I don't know. Jalen Hurts still, I'm still not confident in Jalen Hurts. He just shows flashes of being real good and then flashes of being really bad. King of garbage time. (laughs) He is king of garbage time. (laughs) I mean, I don't like, I think part of it too is that I, I, it's partly that uh, if you're a QB and you were not drafted in the first round, nobody gives a fuck about you like they they're trying to get you off the team like like Gardner Minshew for yeah. instance, right like they 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 just they just dumped his ass because he was a third round pick and then they got a QB who's been playing far worse than Gardner Minshew was yeah. um and and uh I feel I can feel kind of similarly about Jalen Hurts is like he wasn't a first round pick and uh, and the Eagles want him out, but I mean, he's I think he's playing pretty solid, all things considered, on the year. Like he's, I don't think he's, he's bad. It's just, yeah, I could see him like winning a wild card game and then getting absolutely shit on in the divisional round or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could see that too, probably. And it's like it's one of those he's things where going forward, he could improve and get a lot better, or he could just stay like this and get cut, and that's it. Yeah, I mean. Like, I mean Gotta be honest, lately he's been looking better than Lamar Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so is Tyler Huntley comparatively. Yeah, yeah. but that, but and here's the thing: they're never gonna get rid of Lamar Jackson uh, unless yeah. unless that's like bad for a while because he's a first round pick. Um, Part of it's can, also, you know, I think they've already proven themselves. Like you know what you're gonna get most likely. While with some of these mm-hmm. guys, they play a little bit, and you're like, I think he's good. But like, if you have yeah. like someone. That's like Lamar or whoever. It's kind of like you know what you're getting at that point. Yeah. Well, and I think it 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 sours me a little bit as like a Jet, as a Jets fan too, because like I've seen this a lot where it's like, well, our backup QBs are playing better than our first round pick, but the first round pick's gonna stick around for for years because you know he's a first round pick. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, either way, this game sucked. And the Eagles won. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And we had Bills Patriots. This is a wild game. Uh, Josh right. Allen. No, I was very hard for the Pats. So happy the Pats have come back down to planet <laughs> yard. <dude. laughs> uh, so I, I'll stop beating the fucking dead horse. It's happened. They're back down. We're good. Yeah. They, they have certainly uh, cooled off. Much yeah. like the Cardinals uh, did, yeah, the uh, the the win streak is a thing of the past. Uh, Harris looked good, first of all. I want to say, yeah. like, probably maybe one of the uh, mm-hmm. f- very few positive notes from this game. Damian Harris yeah. is looking pretty solid. Uh, otherwise, oof, like, yikes, man, <laughs> we are uh, kind of in trouble all of a sudden. Mac did not do good. He was he was having a bad day. Yeah. Uh, what was his line? It was like uh, two 50% picks. with two yeah. picks. Yeah, not good. Uh, 
we're we're kind of figuring out like we we had a couple of things that were working really well uh well, not against the Bills. The Bills, we just didn't throw the ball last time, and that somehow worked. And we probably should <laughs> yeah. have done that again, honestly, looking at the results. Yeah. Of this yeah. <laughs> Seems like it. <laughs> but, like, yeah, like our ground game is uh, uh, a lot more effective than our passing game right now, for damn sure. And I don't know how much of that is just uh, Max still learning the, the system or even just, like, making rookie mistakes. But, yeah, he, he's, he's had better days for sure. Yeah. The Patriots had a lot of chances in this game. They kept shooting themselves in the foot with penalties and bad throws from Mac. Yeah. He had a couple of really just stinkers. But, I mean, if they – like, one one move that kept on working for them, and I wish that they would do it more, is the little pitch-out option to Damian Harris because, man, that was unstoppable yeah. in the game. No, dude, like, he he was moving. Like, it's six yards a uh, carry, too. And he he is someone that I wish we would involve more. Like, even though we're, ne we're never, like, a one running back team. We almost never do that. But I wish we would sometimes when we have guys <laughs> like that that are that effective. I mean, they did they did ride LeGarrette Blunt all the way to a couple. Yeah, more. that's yeah. 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 true. Like, there, was, there was that time for sure. He, I mean, and he and he he really flamed out for, even in, with Oregon and, and eventually the Bucks. Like, he didn't do all that much but then when belichick got a hold of him like they were actually started running him like crazy and yeah. you know and then he ended up being a super bowl champion i think that damien harris is definitely he he's not as he's not a bruiser like Legarrett was but he's definitely fast enough to beat anyone if he gets a full head of steam you're not catching him it's at all gone, dude yeah mm -hmm. and you know it was disappointing to see to see how many times that the patriots turned the ball over in this game I they and even up until the final interception, like they had a chance, like they yeah. they just had a chance. But the tackling, I gotta say, the or lack thereof from the from the Patriots secondary was it was dreadful. Whoever number twenty seven is on the Patriots, I watched this entire game by the way. Number mm -hmm. twenty seven for the Patriots needs to be fired. That dude <laughs> cannot tackle. He there were so many times he missed a tackle by leading with his shoulder and not wrapping up, like thinking that oh I'm just gonna knock him down. And it, it just didn't it didn't work. He tried it he tried it against uh against uh Josh Allen and he just hurled him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right well, he does it. that, you know, to be fair. But yeah. J C yeah. Jackson. Yeah, J C yeah. Jackson, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's been he's, he's been horrible. He's been up he, and down for sure. I do hate when defenders do that when they go yeah. for the shoulder check because well, yeah, I mean, on camera. Like, that's not yeah. a tackle. That you're just yeah. shoving them. Like you're you're just nudging them with your shoulder. You gotta wrap up and, and just make a tackle, son. I, mm -hmm. I would be very hesitant to say we should cut J.C. Jackson because he's been he's been very good, but he can also be quite bad. He was in the he, Pro Bowl last year. He did horrible oh, wow. this game. I can mm -hmm. tell you that. I've never seen him before, but I was like, man, twenty seven. Just, mm -hmm. just go home, man. You're not playing this game. <laughs> the uh, playoff implications of this game are pretty big too, because the Pats have a much lower chance of winning the division now because yeah. they do not have the tiebreaker. The Bills have the tiebreaker currently. Pats remaining schedule. Jags, which is uh, should be an easy game, but then Miami, yep. which is probably not going to be an easy game. It's on the road. Whereas mm -hmm. the Bills have Falcons, Jets, which are both easy games. So, yeah, yeah. And I think Miami Bills... always. I mean, the Patriots always learn to stumble against Miami somehow, which is incredible, especially mm -hmm. late in the season. Yep, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, Miami's but... been doing well too. Uh, we'll, the Bills we'll have fucking Miami when we get to Miami. <laughs> yeah. the, the Bills have yeah. the uh, Bro, what's tiebreaker going on too, right? Down in Miami. <laughs> yeah, they've already they've already got the tiebreaker now. Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, so have, how do they have it? Wasn't it one and one? How do they have the tiebreaker? They've got the uh, better, they have a record, better divisional record. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Yeah. And they split the they split the divisional matchup with the Patriots one on one. Right, right. Yeah. Bills uh, only have to play the Falcons and the Jets as well. So <laughs> thank you. Yeah, remember. Thank you for the repeat. <laughs> <Just remember. Yeah. laughs> Did Literally you know that they have to play up. the Falcons and the Jets? The Jets. Too? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was distracted looking at playoff. Melvin Gordon. <laughs> Wait, what team is he on? I haven't heard anything. Wait, Melvin about. Gordon. Melvin <laughs> Gordon. Uh, so yeah, this was. The Bills wanted this one, and, and they, they got, got it. it. Yeah. yeah. And now they very much control their divisional destiny. Yeah. Dude, so. I, can I just say, Mac yes. Jones does seem to be the anti-Tom Brady in that he only wins away games. He cannot win at home. <laughs> it's just That's the true. away games that he can win. <laughs> in fact, he even lost to Tom Brady at home. That's true. Yeah. yeah. We saw it with our own eyes. That we is did. crazy. 
Um, then we had Ravens, Bengals, Bengals. Very good. I'm loving the Bengals right now, dude. I'm this loving team looks the Ravens good. finally losing because they <laughs> deserve to all season. Absolutely. No, dude, this Bengals team, they've got some, like, speaking of young studs, man, holy shit. They got Mixon, Burrow, Chase, all on the same fucking team right now. Those three are not going to be on the same team for a long, for a, or, or after, like, their rookie contracts are up. Like, there's no way they're going to be able to afford all three of these guys. Oh, yeah. So this, P. Is, Higgins. this is an anomaly right now. 200 yards. Oh, Higgins, P. I didn't even mention, dude. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's like fucking 22. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would have been nice. Four yards, two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, just one of those to Jamar Chase, please, and I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at this. I didn't watch this game because we had the Patriots game on one and the Bucks game on the other TV. And I was when it was at halftime, I was like, I, I briefly saw the score. It was 31 to 14. I was like, oh, the wait, the Ravens game's already over? But then I saw <laughs> yeah. it was at, it was at halftime. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, what <laughs> happened? Yeah, yeah, man. Surely yeah. Jamar Chase has four billion points by now, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> there was uh, one bright spot for the Ravens, and that was Mark Andrews. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Man, yeah. Rob knows all about Rob. that. <laughs> yeah. Got me 26.5 fantasy points. Actually, Mark Andrews has been like one of the best pickups on my fantasy team all year. Yeah. Like, he's, he's been the been... number one tight end overall in the entire yeah. season. Yeah. He's, he's doing it like wildly well this year. Yeah. Legendary um, numbers for I'll you. The last honest, couple of weeks. I don't mm -hmm. know who the fuck Josh Johnson is, but he doesn't do <laughs> That's horribly. Former he Jets was... great Josh Indeed. Johnson. <laughs> That's not the guitarist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess they picked him up off of our practice squad or something. Oh, he's yeah. 35? What the yeah. fuck? He, well, he hadn't... So until he played that one game earlier in the season with the Jets, like he, he hadn't played in like five years. And even when he had, he'd, he'd only taken really a couple of snaps. Dude, but that played Jets in the game UFL got on the contract. AF. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, in every members. existing league, Sin <laughs> mm -hmm. prior members because he was with Tampa Bay for like three years. Yep, Dude, old Josh yeah. Johnson. His Wikipedia page is fascinating. Like just his career history, it's just like yeah. one one year for like <laughs> twenty teams. It's wild. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's the well, Los Angeles Wildcats. For God's sake, <laughs> he, is, he is this day and age is modern day Jeff Garcia is what he is. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, he's a fifth rounder in 2008. Yeah, jeez. So yeah, no. I mean, he's, he's stuck around the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. I mean, you know, you know I, 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 like, I gotta say, the, <laughs> <laughs> having uh having a career like that in the NFL sounds pretty nice. Yeah. Like you're you're pretty much getting paid millions of dollars to work out, which is you know that's that's yeah. that's pretty good. That's that's a pretty good deal. I mean, as and, long and, as you can swallow your pride about not ever actually getting the sh chance at starting, you know, yeah, yeah it seems dude, are you good. kidding me? No one, almost no one in life ever gets the real chance at starting. Like, it, <laughs> yeah. you get paid millions of dollars for it. Fucking <laughs> sign me yeah. up. That's well, fair. You, and also, don't being uh, don't mind being mocked on a Z tier football podcast. Right. Well, yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, speaking of Z tier. The Chargers. Points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Chargers lost to the Texans. My God. 41. Oh. How dude, do you Davis give up? Mills. Davis Mills. It's, yeah, dude. It's Davis, Davis fucking Mills. Mills. It's Davis Mills season, uh, baby. Rex Burkhead. <laughs> Rex <laughs> Burkhead, <laughs> too, man. Holy yeah. shit. Let's not forget. But How I, do you I give did want to. 41 points to the Texans, <laughs> Chargers. Davis Mills last. Let's see. Let's let's give him his last uh, three games. His last rights. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill him uh, now. He's too against good. the Chargers, of course. Eighty percent, two fifty four for two TDs. Uh, last week versus the Jags, sixty three percent, two hundred yards for two TDs. And then the week before against the Seahawks, threw for sixty seven percent, three hundred thirty yards and a touchdown. This dude is lighting it up. Yeah. He's killing it. He's he's pretty. He's he's he, close to being like the best uh, rookie QB. All the yeah. The Chargers have a defense problem because they gave up 41 <laughs> points to the Texans. That we all know this. They, but I mean, they gave up 37 points 
to the Steelers, and I don't know if you guys have been watching the Steelers <laughs> offense the past few weeks, it is not good. Yeah. 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 So they need to figure out what the fuck is going on on defense there because that you are, it's the Chiefs, it's the Chiefs problem. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, you have a great offense, but if you give up 40 fucking points, you're going to lose games. Three weeks yep. ago, we were talking about how they were almost probably going to be the team to beat in the AFC West. Yeah. And yeah. Here we are giving Oof. up 41 points to the Texans. I mean, and, it is kind of classic Chargers, right? Yeah. I'm, I, well, back you, when Phillip was there. Yeah. Well, but you think, I mean, the way that, that Herbert's been playing, though, you figure that there's no way that this happens again. Yeah. And here we are. <laughs> their I defense guess. their defense is just uh, just perennially just shitting the bed. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. on the other side, if you're the Texans, like, this offseason, like, you have to trade Deshaun Watson. Like, just oh, do yeah, it. Yeah, they'll hold on to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, just do it. So, like, yeah. you do that, you get more pieces, you know, you build around the man Davis Mills right here. Well, so here's the thing. Go, going back to what I said earlier, they almost certainly won't. They're probably going to they're probably gonna draft the QB. Dude, and, I bet they fucking get trade Mills. Deshaun and give away a pick. That's, <laughs> yeah. if, if anything, that's what they'll do. They're going to trade that. themselves Deshaun for Davis Mills. Yeah, and cut him. <laughs> yeah, they cut, they'll cut Davis Mills and pick up some scrub in the draft, and, and he'll... You shit the bed. They'll cut yeah. David's. They'll cut David's Mills. Pick up Richard Sherman. Cut him and then re-sign Mills. Yeah. <laughs> and they're gonna go to David's Mill and shut yeah. that <laughs> mill down. <laughs> yep. It's gonna be wild. Um. Yeah. What a shitty loss for the Chargers. Oh yeah. Yeah. They they that really is. have collapsed. Yeah. Uh, they're looking at a thirty-seven uh, percent chance to even make the playoffs anymore. Ooh, yeah, oof. we were talking about them as a division winner, dude. Like, yeah, holy hell. Yeah, they were. I mean, for a while there, they looked like the team to beat, especially with the Chiefs slumping. But now, yeah, forget about it. Yeah, they good luck. shit the bed. Yeah, they have not been doing too good. Mm. Uh, but you know, they they can still sneak in there. But it, I would not put money on it. <laughs> Yeah. If they do, I'm not betting on them. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Uh, but the Buccaneers would be a team to bet on after winning 32 to 6. Woo! NFC oh. South champions coach, first time since 2007. Yeah. That is Cam, wild. A long time. Yeah. yeah it is. Um, I love how uh how we gave Cam his uh his pity his little pity touchdown and then uh, eventually just said uh, we gave him his, we gave him his pity send off, not touchdown, and then uh, that was probably his last game ever playing in Carolina again. So, well, see you I later, mean, Cam. How are you supposed to stop um, amazing players like Keyshawn Vaughn and Cyril Grayson? Yep. <laughs> you know, I mean, you you can only hope to contain him. <laughs> Sammy D made a comeback. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He he played. Arnold looked a lot better than than Cam did. That's for sure, especially after that interception. And he still <laughs> was not good. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, still lower than fifty percent completions. Yeah, I mean it's Panther. Ever since McCaffrey went out, like it was over. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> I gotta say, bless you. Thank I you. gotta say that uh, out of I I I do truly hate to admit this. I really do. Trust me when I say that, viewers and listeners. But if we didn't get AB back for this game, I think it goes kind of different. I'm not saying the Bucks would lose. You'd still win, yeah. But I'm saying that, you know, he was targeted 15 times and got us 101 yards. Yeah. Like, Tom didn't have anyone except Gronk, really, who he trusted with the ball. It was evident by the 15 targets that AB got. We needed we needed one of, at least one of our guys, one of our one of our veteran receivers that Tom was comfortable with. And you know, I don't I'm not a huge fan of, of A B at all. I still am not. Yeah. But he was a difference maker in this game. Mm. Yeah. It's I am uh, glad that Arians is getting some shit though for like totally yeah. backing down on <laughs> yeah. Dominican's claws. Yeah. One I goof mean, and this guy's out of age. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's good. Like, just say, yeah, well, like, he's he's a good player. He's playing good. So, I don't want to... I don't want to... <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. I, I, I said I would, but he plays good, so... <laughs> I do, I do kind of wonder 
first off, what's going on behind closed doors? Because like that is something that he should have definitely like put his foot down. Because like like Bruce Arians is a I mean he's a hard ass when it comes to players. Like he's not yeah. a player's coach. But at the same time, you also got to wonder if we didn't lose our number one and number two wide receivers, yeah. would A B have ever come back? Is the yeah. thing you know from this stuff. So I see. I think probably because I think Tom is in his corner. Like, I also kind of feel that way. Yeah. Because Tom is going to have a huge influence on who gets to actually play receiver in the game. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it, it's, it is just kind of disheartening that Bruce Arians didn't stick to his word on that. Because there's a lot of Tampa fans who do not like AB just for the same reasons that most people don't like him. Yeah. You know, and I don't it's, like him. I mean, yeah. I don't like, I'm a Tampa Bay fan. I, I didn't want him on our team. I didn't. Yeah. I really did not want him. You know, I feel about him the same way I felt about Sap. But like, I just, I just don't. And, and Sue as well, and Dominic and Sue. I just don't like the dudes, but they're mm-hmm. on my team. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that's football. But the Buccaneers wrapped up the NFC South. Coach, very happy about that. And uh, you know, that's one out of three banners that we got to lift this year. On to the playoffs. On to the playoffs, indeed. Um, which these teams will not be the Bears and the Seahawks. Oh yeah, wait, <laughs> Ooh, breaking, boy. breaking news, breaking Bucks news. Oh. Bruce mm-hmm. Arians tested positive for COVID. Oh, oh. Harold Goodwin will take over head coaching duties. He probably got it from someone with a fake vaccination card. <laughs> yeah. It's quite possible. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, the Bears. Big Dick Nick played. Yeah, sure did. He played better than probably the other Bear quarterbacks would have. This this entire game was a was a mind trip because like when you're watching the game, you're like, oh man, it is coming down in Chicago, and then you find out it was played in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. What? it was pretty wild. Yeah, it was like weather, Soldier Field out there. The weather is very weird this year everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and it will get it'll get weirder and worse. Oh baby, it's only as <laughs> we're Ready, still in dude. the good years, baby. This is the good times. I hope you like good times roll. Yep. Uh, but the uh, Bears, is, yeah, snowing, is wild, and then the Bears won because of a last-minute touchdown to the uh, Jimmy Graham, who plays basketball, and he was able to jump up and catch it. <laughs> He's real tall. He does He's, play basketball. Yeah, How many years has it been since Jimmy Graham has played basketball? I think it's the least team. when he played basketball. Yeah. Just that he did, in fact, play basketball. Yeah. Yeah. This this entire game was just like a 2014 epic battle. It's like Nick Foles to Jimmy Graham in Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Except, you know, it, they're both 5 and 10 now. So it's... Yeah. Yeah, those teams are is it the on. Jets that have yeah. the Seahawks pick or the Eagles? It's us. Yeah. So yeah. like this is just the best case scenario. Like this. Oh is, yeah, I love this. I'm this very very happy. Like, this is better than your team winning, honestly. Currently, yeah, no. the draft order is Jacksonville, Detroit, Houston, Jets, Giants, Jets, Panthers, Woo! Giants. <laughs> New York, New York. Yeah. 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 That is New York all the way. <laughs> With we'll the fourth pick, New York takes. twice as much this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the Eagles actually own the 19th and the 23rd pick. Mm-hmm. And then the Lions own the Rams' 28th pick currently. And Dude, the Dolphins there... own the 49ers' 21st pick. Are there only like five teams picking in the first round this year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It does seem like it. It's uh, it's gonna be a wild first round. Um, so yeah, then we had the Raiders Broncos, another uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Drew Locke is a person. Yep, and it's true. Uh, <laughs> Melvin Gordon had seven carries for negative four yards. Yep. Oh, yep. no, yep. Melvin. He Melvin averaged po- negative 0.6 yards a play. Oh, no, Melvin. On seven carries. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's, no, Melvin. That's rough. And the legend grows. <laughs> <laughs> also, good. good thing uh, he was on my bench this week. Yeah. yeah. Sinvicta was rolling out Josh Jacobs, who luckily had a fumble lost, yep. which also <laughs> helped me out. Great. Super great. Yeah. Really good. And, Literally uh, just needed one touchdown from any <laughs> starter. 
<laughs> the, uh, well, luckily they ran it in with Peyton Barber instead. That was yeah, a close one. Saw that too. Thanks, <laughs> Coach. <laughs> yep. Uh, so Literally, yeah, the... everything had to go right for Crandor to still win, and of course it did. It was fantastic. Uh, yep, and go Rob. <laughs> just like that, the Raiders still in the fight. God. Um, it is. The it is a last... wild. The, the, whatever race this is. <laughs> The last play, so like right now, like, like the Bengals are looking pretty good to win. Bills, yeah. Chiefs, Titans, all looking pretty good to win. I mean, the Colts and Titans can trade it, but like both of those teams are yeah. very likely getting in. So like, look at these remaining teams. Are you scared of any of these teams? The Ravens, the Steelers, the Browns, the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Dolphins. Like, I think the scariest team there is the Dolphins. It's the yeah, Dolphins. <laughs> Yeah. It definitely. And when is. that's the scariest team, you're not scared of anybody not yeah. at all. Yeah, no that uh, that would be a miracle wild card run for any of those teams. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're it kind of like, seems like it's gonna be the Dolphins. It might be. It yeah. Is. Well, the Dolphins have to play the Titans and the Patriots, so it's not like the last two games are easy for them. They could, man. Th the likelihood of the Dolphins beating the Patriots, it, like if that's what is this the deciding factor between them and getting in, <laughs> I would bet money on the Dolphins in that game, dude, for sure. Yeah. Like, I mean, they, the, I just yeah. realized that if the Patriots lose this week, Dolphins win, and then, like, one of these other teams or something wins, like, that could be a fight for a playoff The spot. Dolphins could win the fucking division. <laughs> can they? Like, can they still yeah, do that? They can. Oh they God. still can. It's ridiculous. Right. That is absurd. Oh, wait. Yeah, they're literally one game back. I didn't yeah, even man. process that. That, that is, is wild. Like, it's insanely unlikely because the Bills have to lose out and the Dolphins have to win both their games and then they have yeah. to beat the Patriots, of course. But that right. would, I mean, that would basically do it. That's not, like, crazy unlikely. I mean, with the Bills' opponents, it is, but, like... Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, insane. it's not more unlikely than what they've been doing so far. Yeah. I mean, you know. They've been having a weird year, but, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, I honestly would put them at the best chances out of any of those teams. Yeah, this is, we're going to know a lot more after this week because this yeah. week a lot of these teams play each other like Chargers, I think, play the Raiders or something like that. And then, that's a big one. Yeah. And then I think the Ravens play the do they play Chargers. the. So wait, it's uh, uh, oh, they play Steelers the Rams. Browns, Steelers Browns. Steelers and Browns. The loser of that team is out. Yeah. Chargers and the Broncos uh, Raiders uh, are playing the. Oh god, the Raiders subreddit. Colts. They play the Colts. Terrible. Yeah, Colts. Dude. Oh, okay. So the Raiders are out. But then the Raiders um, play the Chargers the week after. It was another playoff. How the fuck are the Broncos not eliminated? They can still somehow make the playoffs. That's yeah. Insane. Yeah. I mean, they're seven and eight, surprisingly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know how any of I don't know how any of these teams that aren't eight and seven can get in because it really seems impossible for them. Yeah, they won't. Yeah. They will not get in. I mean, we say that, but last year a seven and nine team got into the, so the problem right? with the, the I think the tie with the Steelers makes it really fucky. Yeah, but yeah. Also, they they lost to the Chargers and the Raiders, so like they have no tiebreakers there. There's just too many eight and seven teams for a team like the Browns to make it in, honestly. Mm. Yeah. So. Uh, Does anyone really care in the end? No, yeah, it, whatever, team, yeah whatever team gets in, they're gonna get the destroyed. Yeah, yeah, right. It's literally just gonna come down to like the <laughs> Chiefs, Titans, Bills, Bengals, Bengals. Maybe not even the Bengals. Maybe, yeah, probably not. It's gonna be like pretty bad <laughs> in some games. So Honestly, like, I'd yeah. say it's Chiefs, Bills at this point. <laughs> it it's gonna be me. Bucks, Pats. We already know it. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. This is the no. year where the Buccaneers get upset by the. Rams or the Cardinals, okay. Cardinals, and a, then I don't think either of those are an upset. <laughs> I just yeah. don't want to play Tom Brady again. In the change, I understand. Even if like it's just variety, like if we lose hey, to like careful, the Rams, you're, you're forgetting about Dallas, dude. Like, eh, dude, sure I want, four. I want the matchup so bad if Mike McCarthy returns to Green Bay in the NFC Championship game. Oh my god, and I would love for him to lose, making a dumb coaching decision. <laughs> that I, would I be really want the to win. Like, it's just as long as they're playing the Austin <laughs> Powers theme over it, I don't care. What <laughs> that would just be an epic, just Rodgers versus McCarthy. Like, that'd be, I'd love it. Yeah. Um, Rogers just goes out there and starts beating his ass. <laughs> <laughs> the game has not begun, but the coach and quarterback are ejected. Then Jordan Love comes in and balls out. Mojo. Oh my god, be amazing! Mojo, <laughs> yeah, he beat the mojo right out of his moment. Um, 
Got so your these, moment right here. There you go. So, uh, these last three games are terrible. So we had the Steelers yeah. Chiefs. Ooh, it was game. bad. Uh, you know, you control your own desk. Somehow we controlled our own destiny at this point, and all we had to do was we. Th- th- this was the game. This is our playoff game right here, and we yep. lost. So it's pretty much over. Not yeah. just lost, but got absolutely destroyed. Yeah, just, just like, bodied. Uh, this is what the team should have looked like the whole year. This is how good our team is right here. The fact that we have seven wins is just amazing. I like, honestly, it's yeah. just a bad team. I do love the fact that the Chiefs' number one receiver was named Byron Pringle. Yep, yep. Yeah. Byron Pringle. Who's the president? He's balling he's, out. He's got a uh, he's got a deal with Pringles too. I think. Does he's, he? Like, he did, yeah, I think he's got his own flavor or something. My favorite part of this game was at the end Joe of it. Byron. They were like, <laughs> "Let's uh, go to a better game," and they went to the Raiders Broncos and just showed <laughs> the Raiders kneeling the ball three times. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, what? a better game. That yeah. was a better game. Honestly, it was more fun to watch. <laughs> uh, but then they just ran like 10 minutes of commercials which is why I think they actually did it uh, yeah, yeah uh, Mahomes absolutely dissected the Steelers defense it yeah. was just he was picking them apart every single throw and yeah the Steelers suck yeah so that's that's pretty and, much the takeaway um, Najee why'd you have to just not do anything this game he was just fitting almost. in with the Steelers by not doing anything but he didn't have 100 yards he had 93, and keep in mind, every yard he gets is behind the worst O-line in existence. So, <laughs> like... Averaging five on the ground that game is honestly pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah he didn't get a lot done on the stat sheet. But My favorite part good. was when Ben went back to do, like, a double handoff and fumbled it. Uh, and then I was like, if they score a touchdown and give, like, Sinvicta's Kansas City defense even more points, I'm going to lose. Because yep. then, at the end of the game... Instead of just running the clock out, like, hey, we're down by 30, whatever. They were like, let's bring in the backups and try some stuff. I was like, if they throw a pick six for a touchdown, I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> but they didn't. So thank God. Yeah. So now the Steelers, yeah, playoff hopes, like, less than 10%. Not not going to happen. Yeah. No. But this next game is, is a lot on the line, this game, really, actually. Like, emotionally, I think, for a lot of people, because... Uh, loser of the game is eliminated so the Steelers if they win could eliminate the Browns in the playoffs which is a thing that the Steelers people like to do is make mm-hmm. the Browns sad that's just kind of <laughs> their thing yeah. so that could happen um, and this is for Mike Tomlin's streak his non-losing yep. season streak which is would be record breaking in this year I think if, he, if, if we win one more game yep. which is a very impressive streak of not having a losing season yeah. uh, and also it's probably Ben's last home game I mean, not even probably, like probably definitely his last home game. So there's a lot yeah. going on in this game. Is he like lot. for sure going to get bounced this year? I would be amazed if we have him next season. Yeah. I mean, I, I would be amazed by it too, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, I almost just, feel like they wouldn't. I feel like it's time to either tank next year and find a quarterback or just like uh, steal like Wilson or uh, fucking get, Minshew, get some Minshew magic in here. I don't know, dude. Just something. <laughs> Try something next year. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Overall, this game sucked. Uh. <laughs> then we had Cowboys Hogs, which was Fuck the even hogs. Fuck worse. <laughs> <laughs> they suck. They're the worst. They, they've lost my allegiance forever with this performance and allowing goddamn McLaurin to catch a pass. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that they are just terrible, dude. Oh, my God. The Cowboys obliterated them. Heineke looked like he was a child out there. Yeah. It was 42 to 7 at halftime. Yeah. 42. 42. It was 40. over but like halfway through the first, dude. Yeah. They, like. <laughs> They scored two more touchdowns in the rest of the game, but they like weren't even really trying to. Like it they just weren't. Kind of, yeah, it just happened. Yeah, like the the goddamn hogs sideline were like fighting with each other yeah, at the really end like of the first quarter. Each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a mess, dude. Like what, holy shit! What grade A moron would have picked the hogs in this game? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hogs, that. except not anymore. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, man. Like, yeah. There's, there's nothing even to say about this game. They got absolutely fucking obliterated. Yeah. I watched way too much of this stupid game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, same watched, here. There's just a <laughs> lot of this game to see if Terry McLaurin. Real was losers for Rob and Bear. <laughs> yeah, been to watch this garbage. There was like Deron Payne and the other. I forgot the other lineman, but like they were getting into it because he like 
he like took yeah. his finger and like he, pushed him in the head or something. Yeah, yeah. He, and like first of all, you definitely deserve to be punched in the face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that was a <laughs> yeah, huge, you do not, disrespectful move. Yeah, you do not touch another man's face like that mm-hmm. without expecting retaliation. Well, it, like, it's the kind of move that you make when you want them to retaliate, yeah, right? Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a like, provoking What the fuck move. is the point of... You, okay, yeah, yeah, we all know it's... Dumb. Yeah. yeah. That's just, poked him uh, in the forehead, like... Yeah, you know, it's Hogs football right there. Being children, man, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah it was It was just a complete disaster. Um, mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Then we had <laughs> the Dolphin <laughs> Saints. The hogs train is officially off the off the rails yeah. now. Hogs yeah, yeah. Matter, you know, they're not even gonna pick the hogs. They're gonna pick the senators or some dumb yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh the god, hogs, the hogs are dead. So we, we need a we need a dead hog for the yeah. For the next Rip round. hogs. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, was, don't put a dead hog. Just put just put like a hot dog or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, I was gonna say we had a good run yeah. with it. Um, yeah. Go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. <laughs> so the uh, Saints started Ian Book, and he wasn't good. Nope. Uh, and the Dolphins. I could have read that in the <laughs> news. Yeah, yep, off, I get um... it. The book. <laughs> yep. yeah. Um, yeah, this game sucked too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All and of somehow the they beat the Buccaneers. Sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Tampa Bay much. scoring zero against this defense. Same exact defense that they played against the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, another shout out to Lil Jordan Humphrey for no other reason than his name. I just love it. It's just <laughs> great. <laughs> yep. It really is. Well done, uh, Waddle looks very good as well, man. Yes. I, he's yet mm-hmm. yet another insanely impressive young receiver. Like holy shit, we yeah. got a yeah. whole bunch of yeah. them right now. He looks he looks really really good uh, mm-hmm. all, all year. And you know we we've been kind of teasing it, uh, talking about the Dolphins uh, all all yep. podcast, but. Um, so the Dolphins, first team ever to lose seven straight and then win seven straight. Wow, that's uh, wild. Yeah, I mean it's it is a really absurd uh, year that they have. Also, here's another stat for you: the Miami Dolphins are dead last in all-purpose yardage, uh, have one of the worst return games and rushing attacks, um, and plus they were one of two teams without a fourth quarter comeback, and they're on a seven-game winning streak. <laughs> They could. Um, this would be incredible if they won the division this year. That would be like an it all-time really story of of starting this season. Well, is it zero oh and seven or one and seven? What well, was their record? One and seven. They, one they and seven. Pass, remember? Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I will say I <laughs> the the winning streak is against as follows: the Texans, the Ravens. Uh-huh. It's probably the most impressive one. Mm. The Jets, the mm-hmm. Panthers, the Giants. Okay. The Jets again, oh. the Saints. Wait, this isn't mm. even remotely impressive, actually, now that you've read them out loud in a row. <laughs> yeah. 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 wins, though. And I mean, yeah. They're beating be the fair, winners like... of the tankathon.com. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> what is their they're combined gonna... record of, of opponents? It must be uh, laughable. Not winning, I can tell you that. <laughs> Probably, yeah. None uh, of those teams have a winning record. Even even the only team with a winning record is the Ravens, and they suck. They that, that win's not even that impressive. They're bad. Yeah, that's I why love... this these coming up games against the Titans and Patriots that'll show who these Dolphins are. It's gonna be that'll be it. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna show that they're they are and have always been still the Dolphins that lost <laughs> something straight. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite my favorite stat line out of all this, even more favorite than the one that the Dolphins are the first team in NFL history are both. Uh, with both a losing streak and winning streak of seven in the same season. Listen to this one. The loss of the Irish starting quarterbacks from Notre Dame have lost 24 straight starts. <laughs> oh, getting all the way back to 2012. When does anybody remember this fellow? Brady Quinn. Ah, oh, Brady oh, Quinn. Carolina. oh, that's a name. Notre There's Dame quarterbacks throwback. have lost 24 straight starts. That is yeah. unreal. <laughs> The Jets sure. had one, uh, briefly. Christian Hackenberg. Oh had, yeah, Hackenberg. Oh yeah, I remember. Never played game. an NFL snap before <laughs> retiring. There's uh, so. Jimmy Clausen. Oh yeah, yeah, that's another one. Yep, that's a classic. Uh, Deshaun Kaiser. I remember him. Uh-huh. Couple oh, yeah. Packer starts. I, got I think jersey. both of those last two are still in the league somewhere, right? I think I think Deshaun and Jimmy Clausen are still on a roster. Yeah, or something. he is. Uh, uh, Kaiser's a free agent right now. Ah, uh, okay. He was with the Titans this year before getting cut. 
Yeah, I think Jimmy Clausen might be a coach or something. Former American, uh, former. Yeah, no, I don't know. He's 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 out somewhere. Yeah. I just, I mean, that's just a staggering amount of games <laughs> to lose as a Notre Dame quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah, that's yeah. it for the games. Invicta Power Rankings. Thank you, Coach Crandor. Power rankings. We're going to basically like two weeks left, and we're done. Dizzle. Mm. Name the starting five teams, the top five teams, the power rankings, NFL.com power rankings, starting with Rob. Uh, let's go with the Green Bay Packers. Yep. There. That's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. Yep. Coach. Buccaneers. Yep. Apollo. Rams and Rob for the dunk. It's the Cowboys. It's gotta it be is the indeed Cowboys. Not the Cowboys. Whoa! Whoa! They're cowboy. They're cowboy tangential though. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cowboy adjacent. Yeah, yeah right? cowboy okay. adjacent. That's the one I was working for. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, could it pro- ca- uh, could it call the gala gala possibly yeah, be yeah, I agree. The, uh, the Tennessee Titans? Maybe it is indeed not the Tennessee Titans. Wow. We're, talking, we're looking we're looking for adjacent here. Is it the Arizona I was wondering Cardinals. what adjacent meant. It yeah. is indeed not the Cardinals. It can't Three be in a row. Eagles. All of you, all of you did so well. Oh, oh, oh! I get it. Now. I know. I know what it is. It's the Buffalo Bills. It is indeed not the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> oh, come on! That's adjacent to a <laughs> cowboy. What is the adjacency here? Is that the Colts? It is indeed the Colts. Okay. Oh, the Indianapolis oh, Colts, oh, I get you it. dummies. That okay. is adjacent. Yeah. The Colts. <laughs> yeah. In the fifth position, starting from the top. We're going our way down to the bottom. The Packers stayed at number one. The Chiefs stayed at number two. The Rams now move up to the third spot. The Buccaneers inexplicably dropping a spot, Dan, despite winning the division, Dan, to the fourth spot from third. And then the Indianapolis Colts now leapfrogging the Dallas Cowboys from the sixth position to the fifth position. The Cowboys now moved up two from the eighth spot to the sixth. The Bills sitting in the seventh position. The Pats now falling. Only one time or one spot from the seventh to the eighth spot, basically just flip flopping with the Bills, and then the Bungles in the ninth position, and the Cardinals now in the tenth position, Ooh, somehow wow. still ranked in the top ten. Now we go on over to Bear Taffy, mm-hmm. your favorite part of this entire show, Bear. Yeah, the thinnest dink. Yeah, this team, this team has risen five spots. To go from the 16th or to go from the 21st spot to the 16th spot, still somehow in playoff contention. Bear Taffy, name this AFC team. It could not possibly be any team other than the Miami Dolphins. That is absolutely incorrect. It is the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders <laughs> now wow. rising from the 21st spot to the 16th spot. And then we go over to Coach Crendor. Coach. Yeah. The fattest doink. This team has fallen five spots. And I'll give you a hint. We've already named them in this show that's two minutes ago. I know it's hint. hard for you to remember this. <laughs> I mean, we did we did uh, talk about all 32 teams there are, so far. There are, yep. there are some I'll bad teams. I'll narrow it down for you, Coach. This team is still very much in the playoffs despite losing a whole lot. Name. I was, this slumping team. I figure it's either the Hogs or the Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. That is absolutely incorrect. That is the Arizona's Cardinals. Arizona's now, Cardinals. Arizona's <laughs> Cardinals <laughs> dropping from the fifth spot to the fifth spot. Every oh. Cardinal in <laughs> Every Arizona? Every single Arizona Cardinal in oh the God. in the lush tropical wasteland that is the Arizona <laughs> Wait, desert. Yeah, the does Cardinals. Arizona even have Cardinals? It's a really good uh, question. <laughs> from the fifth spot to the tenth spot. Hold now, on. Are Cardinals there Cardinals in Arizona? <laughs> no, we, we don't have time for this now. <laughs> Apollo, <laughs> Apollo, here we go. This is a, this is the big in here, right here. Apparently, this, there this are. is all it. True oh, or false? Oh. True or false? The New York Jets, the surging New York Jets. <laughs> True or false, Apollo? Uh-huh. Are ranked above the two and twelve and one. Detroit Lions. Uh, true. 
That is absolutely incorrect. The yes. Jets are still ranked below the two twelve and one uh, Lions, despite being four and eleven. That's now just, going from the thirty first spot all the way up to the 29th spot, only beating out the Carolina Panthers, who dropped by two, the Giants, who dropped by one, and the lowly Jacksonville Jaguars sitting in the thirty second spot. And then finally, we got to go to the team that I think everyone's waiting for. And we'll yep. just, we'll, 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 it's an open floor here. The Baltimore Ravens mm. are in what place, Robert? Oh, oh boy. I have a one in 32 chance, huh? <laughs> you um, do. You should need 10 of them, though. And we know I the top five. Say, yeah, I would say they're in 17th place. There. He said, be right back. Oh, oh right. okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I missed that. I was really, really intense. Coach Crandon. Yeah. I'm going to go with a 13. Apollo. This is the Ravens, you said, right? This mm-hmm. is the Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to say that they are in 15th place rob has gotten the closest one the ravens Woo! now rightfully so being not 17th but 19th Whoa. in the power rankings oh, just God. careening down that cliffside uh and it doesn't matter because i'm not going to read the write-up and that's going to do it for the power <laughs> rankings as we go up to robert bear coach and apollo for pickums pickums Pickham's Pick crown. Pick the Pickham's king has been crowned. Just give me, give me the title now. It's fine. I'm well, not losing it. Uh, this week, me, Rob, uh, and Discord all go eleven and six. Apollo goes ten and seven. Bear twelve and five, and Sinvicta thirteen and four. With Randy Ooh. going three and thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> what a week for Randy. Bad week for Randy. Oh. And he's Man. still somehow 48%. <laughs> yep. He's going to end with a perfect 50. It's going to happen. It's got to happen. Well, he's going to need a couple of good weeks for that. Yep. Yeah. Um, the Yule Leds. Invicta had the best record this December at 41 and 19, 68%. Wow. Woo. Which breaks the record set last year by Sinvicta and Rob. Yeah. And Rob and, and Rob. Rob. And Rob at 67%. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Buccaneers have received the most unanimous selections this season. Six teams that have not received any unanimous picks. Two in the AFC, four in the NFC. Oh. Go Bucks! <laughs> uh, Spice of the Locks. And Victor, Rob, mm-hmm. Bear, and Discord have each locked nine different teams this season. Crendor has locked 12 different teams in Apollo 11. Okay. Yeah, right. next, these, this set the next set is just me and Crendor uh, being the most fun. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crendor has picked 63 upsets by win percentage this season, the most of anyone, yeah. followed by Apollo at 50 and Bear at 48 and the I rest. Just, I just love that your face is a sloth. <laughs> yeah. Let it be known that Discord is clearly just the most cowardest, cowardly of cowards. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Without a doubt. 100%. Um, and everyone has done well picking interconference games this season, AFC versus NFC. Discord 72, Sinvicta 69, nice. Rob mm, 68, yes. Bear 68, Crandor 68, yeah. Apollo 61. I appreciate that they said everyone. Meanwhile, all you guys are within four points and I'm like <laughs> yeah. nine points back. Like that, you know, like, yeah, I'd like, thank you, thanks. Still not hey, bad. I'm pretty proud fair. of my 13 and four. That's That's difficult to do. Mm-hmm. And with my locking of the Eagles last week, which paid off, they are now broken in the lock drought. Uh, who yeah. second? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's clearly like the Texans, right? Like uh, the fourth, and then yep. Jaguars. Uh, to God, the first and the fifth skull are the same. Jaguars yeah, that's, first. That's definitely a that's definitely a bear skull right there. Is that a bear skull? Right? That's or, true. Or, I mean, it. Wait. What are those teeth in the middle? Oh, oh yeah, that's no. a bear skull. That's the a bear plot skull. thickens. That's got to be a bear skull. That I just googled be. bear skull and it is a bear skull. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> well, that's cheating. Like, you can't Google bear skulls. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, about a science flower, project, though, dude? It's, it's the giants, giants right? It's, it's be the, the bean giants. sprout. That who said who said uh, it was I, bean sprout? I yes, calculated that. Oh, okay, that makes yeah, sense. very clever. It's jaguars, eagles, giants, Texans, and bears. Yeah, so it adds up. Um, but now the Eagles move on, so we'll see who slides into their spot. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I have a feeling it's going to be the Jets. Yeah. I, I, I locked the Jets this year. Oh. oh. Well, then the Brown- it's got to be the Browns then. I don't no, know. We, somebody I, probably someone locked, locked the, the Browns. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure someone locked the Browns. Did they? Um, yeah. I think yeah. so. Maybe it's like the Panthers or something. Plus, that you can't do like, like a skull of the Browns. It would be like a skull version. <laughs> no, of I, I locked the Panthers yeah. this year too. <laughs> mm. Oh, <laughs> maybe it's the <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the, Ra- the Raiders? I don't. That doesn't look like a Raider know. skull to me. No. One of them's got to be the Bears for sure. Well, yeah, one's mm-hmm. the Bears. But no, just, we're, no we, we're not we're talking singing. about the current. We're, so we're talking about one that is sliding in now that the Eagles are gone. Oh, the one yeah. that's sliding in. The Eagles are gone. No, yeah. So I have no idea. But we'll find out next week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and pick that, the pick em stats let us pick them. Pick em. Pick em. The, the, the chaos season is finally starting to settle down a little bit, too. You can yeah. see it in our pick em's charts. It's becoming a little less chaotic. Mm-hmm. That is true, yes. Um, we're actually having good win rates. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this week, I think it has some pretty interesting games. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, starting yeah, it's with be divisional now, right? Yeah. yeah, all these games are also uh, on Sunday and Monday now. Thursday is gone, unless oh, COVID Thursday happens gone. and gets yeah, delayed. Really Thursday, huh? <laughs> Which you know, we might still get some COVID Tuesday nighters and Thursday nighters in there. Yeah, know? that's true. Especially since like you know more people are continuing to test positive in the NFL. Yep. Yeah. Although they did just lower the time you can be out. Yep. So yeah, that's a thing. And yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So maybe the Delta CEO sent the NFL a, another <laughs> yeah, message. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Giants Bears. Go Bears. Go Bears. Yeah, that's Ooh. a, that's a yeah. Bears. Dude. I'm taking Mike the Glenn, Bears. Mike Glennon is Mike never gonna win in, you know? Yeah. Uh, you guys think it's the bear? I was thinking the Giants are gonna take this one. No. Really? Well, God, you can think continue so. thinking that, Rob. <laughs> uh Go ahead, pick him. Uh, it's called, I mean, it's called, it's called pick him, Rob. I mean, you're not wrong about that. You're not I mean, wrong about that. The Bears are that. bad, but I don't think they're that bad. Then again, the Giants have four wins, so like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, how many wins do the Bears have? Five. Five. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean. But they're yeah. playing at home. And yeah, just that's team. true. Look, we're trying to save you a win here, Rob. <laughs> I'm going to pick the Fine, I'll pick the Bears. <laughs> but I swear to God, if the Giants win this, I'm going to be so mad. He's going to be mad, ever, Which I probably then, won't. Then that's your fault. Yeah. Um, This game's also going to be like 15 degrees. Yeah, I was going to say, that. Cold. that's one of the main things is like, is it going to be a snow game? Because it might be a snow game. It won't be a snow game, apparently. I checked the local yeah. weather. Well, they're mm. both cold weather teams. So they are both cold weather. True. Honestly, the Giants yeah. got some running. If they can get running, you know, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I don't trust them. I'd be on Bears still. Yeah. Uh, Patriots, Jaguars. Uh, Patriots. Anyone want to lock that? Because uh, no, I'll Patriots. go ahead and take that lock there. Yeah, let's wow. go. Patriots locking it. I just wanted to make sure that uh, the you guys kept doing you know cowardly <laughs> locks and not picking different teams to lock. So keep, keep that alive. Yeah, I'm taking I'm the Patriots. The goddamn hogs! I will not hear this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was uh, that not was your a good fault, choice. Bear. Uh, I'll be taking the uh, New England Patriots for yep. this matchup. Mm. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Rams, Ravens. Rams. Rams. Yeah, Rams. No question, it's the Rams. Grandor. <laughs> <laughs> he's, thinking he's thinking about it he's thinking about it what if this one particular it's thing happens happen. it's gonna happen is Lamar Jackson gonna play no he's not playing so he's very good yeah let's go with the Rams whatever yeah. <laughs> two, it's too up in the air I'm going Rams That's the t- I mean it's yeah yeah uh Buckingham. Tom Brady returns to New Lock York. Lock in the Bucks. Yeah. Lock in the Bucks. Uh, <laughs> Lock in the Jets, anyone? Lock in yeah, the Bucks. I'm going to be taking the Bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go yeah, Bucks. Yes, Buccaneers. Yeah, Bucks. I can't let, as much as I want the Jets to win just because it would be very funny yeah, for Tom Brady's sake. Yeah. Yeah, I got to take the Bucks on this one. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's just Tom Brady's going to come to abuse us again. He's one, 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 five, probably the last time. Like, yeah. 
this is probably the last time you ever have to see him, Rob. So, yeah. well, I mean, you never know. I mean, maybe maybe he leaves the fucking Bucks and goes somewhere else in the AFC, specifically to play against yeah. the Jets again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he goes joins back to like the, the Dolphins or some yeah. shit. No, oh, he goes God. back to the Patriots. He's already in yeah. Florida. He's just got to drive down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Falcons, Bills, 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 yeah, Bills, 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 yeah. Bills, Bills. 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 In fact, I'm going to lock the Buffalo Bills. Oh, wow. I actually think that's... I was thinking about it, but the mm, Bills have been weird this year sometimes. Falcons I just, agree. I don't... I just don't trust the Falcons like oh, at me all. Neither. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised yeah. you're not going to wait for that Packers pick. I'm just saying. Ah, mm-hmm. Vikings are always scary in division. Oh yeah, the, I don't the trust Vikings it. beat the Packers already once. Yeah, yeah. I think the Packers will win it, but it's still it's you know it's gonna be wild. Packers have they have to win the to hold the number one seed. Yeah. Um, Chiefs, Bengals, Chiefs, Chiefs. Mm. Mm. I don't think it's gonna be that close, to be honest. I agree. That, I, I gr- like. I grant you that the Dolph that the Bengals won for you know won with forty one points this week, but they also got shellacked the 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 three weeks before that. So like, and they got they got like embarrassingly beat for for like three weeks. I'm yep. gonna take the Bengals. I'm what? Gonna, I'm going to be taking the Bengals. Yeah, what? I'm kind of tossed up here. I don't know. You the Bengals locked down the division and clinched a playoff spot with a win, I believe. So uh, they're playing for a lot more than they normally do, and they've been looking good. The, the Chiefs Bengals. lock the number one seed with this win. Mm. I'm taking the Bengals. You, got, you, you guys, guys are wild. All ta- Why is it when I make an interesting <laughs> pick? <it's, laughs> this happened last week. Where I was like, Man, I was already Titans. leaning towards the Bengals. So I mean, this I was think, a, it, yeah. no, but last week it was like the Titans Niners, and I was like, oh, everyone's gonna pick the Niners. You, too, you, I think the Titans are gonna. Joke. I wasn't, but I was telling my chat, I was like, dude, I think that this is gonna be a sleeper pickums pick. Give me the Titans. And then when I looked at the fucking pickums thing, I was like, what the fire will pick the Titans, dude? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. Speaking of which, Dolphins, Titans, Titans, Titans. Um, the, this is the this is the ex- exposed time for the Dolphins. Uh, they will be exposed. You know what? I'll I'll do it. I'll be the one. The Dolphins. Let's do. I want to see them do it. I want to see them keep up the winning streak. I think that's what. Be letting me too. Go Dolphins. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh God. I feel I like I gotta take Dolphins now. Oh, oh no! Hell Why? yeah! Well, I'll take this. <laughs> Please hell do. Yeah. Please um, do. I'll, I'll happily extend my lead. And the anti-combat strategy states that the dolphin should win this because oh, the dolphin would get destroyed. That's true. It's true. <laughs> it didn't work for you last week. It's not gonna work this. Well, week. I don't know. We never made the chart. I never made the the chart. You didn't the see the data. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna. You're insane if you're taking the Dolphins here. <laughs> I'm just going to do it for fun. I'm already in last place. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah. I'm swapping to the Titans after hearing <laughs> <laughs> Raiders, Colts. I'm locking the Colts. Baby. He's locking the Colts. That's I'm fair. taking the Colts, too. I will also take the Colts. The Colts will take a Colt-sized poop all over the Raiders. Wow. Mm-hmm. No wow. Carson Wentz this game. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go Raiders. Raiders wow. gotta win, dude. He's, you he's do realize officially... that without Carson Wentz, that just means they're gonna throw less picks. That just and means run they're yeah. more they're and they're gonna win even harder. If yeah. I know these Raiders, they're gonna try to win the weird games where there's no starting quarterback and then lose the following week and miss the playoffs. So I'm going yeah. Raiders. Okay, yeah, well. I can see that. <laughs> I'm locking a team with a backup quarterback. That's how confident I am. That is pretty wild. <laughs> Give me this. That one's the last time that's happened, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Taylor is going to destroy the Raiders. Oh, yeah. Eagles. Yeah. Hogs. Fuck the Hogs. Go Eagles. 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 Yeah, it's the Eagles. That's the Go Eagles. Birds. Yeah. It's hog roasting time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Broncos Chargers. Dude, Broncos is, maybe? The fucking this, Chargers. This is where oh, people... Kidding. Get baited into picking the Broncos, and I will not fall for that. Trap. I certainly yeah, was I thinking about Chargers. it. Chargers, 
I'm still kind of thinking it's about it. To be game, honest. It is the biggest bait pick on planet Earth. It's I'm gonna go Chargers divisional... still. I'm going Chargers. I like I I, I I'm probably still gonna do it, but man, the Chargers have not been looking like solid all year. The thing is, is the Chargers, regardless of when they lose, they score points, and the Broncos True. are not gonna. They're, they're still playing Drew Lock, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, no, I just have a Chargers. Man. Let a me Chargers. see. Teddy Bridgewater is he coming yeah, back? I don't think he's coming back. No, In that was a concussion protocol. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, I gotta take the fucking Chargers. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, I'll take the Chargers too. You're welcome. We gotta stop. You, we have you're to stop. Welcome for saving no. your pick. No, we need to stop trying to convince people we're making bad picks. <laughs> <laughs> Texans 49ers. 49ers. Niners. Give me the Houston Texans, baby. Oh, shit. He likes Davis Mills. I think yeah. Davis Mills magic. I think the Niners, they don't have Jimmy G. It's it's over for them, man. I think yeah. that they have Debo Samuel, who's more important than Jimmy G. Sure so I'm going to mm-hmm. take the 49ers. And Brandon Ayuk That's, as well. Look, I'm giving you my upset but, pick of the week. It's usually <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but can rookie Trey Lance get them the ball? Yeah. That's, oh, the, that's the real yeah. question. I mean, I mean they can hand it off. The ball to Debo, right? Yeah, so sure, oh, yeah. it's going to work pretty well. If, if they decided that Jimmy G was better than Trey Lance, Trey Lance must be garbage, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, mean, Jimmy G did all right. Did Jimmy well. G's trash. <laughs> Just line up Debo with, like a wild wild cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let Debo be you know. quarterback. Yeah. yeah Taysom like, Hill let, him, let him make the bad pick. It's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lions, Seahawks. Who oh, cares? Man. I'm taking yeah. the Detroit lot. He's doing it. Sin, what are you picking? I'm picking the opposite. <laughs> I'm picking the Detroit. Wait, is Gary's golf playing? Probably. Uh, probably no. Not, right? No, he probably is. Well, he was really? just in COVID, right? So he'll be back. Yeah, he should be back. Jared, okay, go. okay, then I pick the Lions. If golf I, is playing, I pick the Lions. I pick the Houston Astros. <laughs> All right. No, they, they lost the World Series. That's true. They did. To the Atlanta Braves. I I cannot pick the Lions, so I'm not going. <laughs> All right. There it is. I, yeah, I'll take the Seahawks. Which mm. obligates Bear to pick the Lions. It sure does. So I'm picking yep. the Detroit Lions, baby. Welcome to the oh. Lions Club. <laughs> uh, Cardinals, Cowboys. Cowboys. Man, everything says Cowboys. Everything. Yeah. Every single thing, including so be, my pick. Which means the Cardinals, the Cardinals are going to win. Cardinals. Mm. <laughs> wow. I I'll take voting. the Cowboys. I hate I hate casting a vote for them, but Cowboys. I would yeah. be shocked at a Cowboys loss on this game. You should look just because the Cardinals are in a slump does not mean they can snap out of that slump and score like ninety points at any moment. It's Kyler Murray and and, true. and DeAndre Hopkins. All right, but like, dude, as painful as it wait, is, is for Hopkins I think is out, isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, as, as painful as it is for all of us to say the Cowboys are actually good this year, and they're yeah, still players who are yeah, actually playing up to expectations. Stinky stinker eggs, like multiple times. It's true. Yeah, I'm but they're the true. They're surging right now, and the, they're beating and the good teams. They're beating Card- teams the by Cardinals a bunch of not. points, but and I, they've been I, more consistent than the Cardinals. I'm making yeah. some last chance. I calculated reaches to make up some ground and pickums. All right. Yeah, <laughs> it might work. I feel you. I think the Cardinals, Cardinals, go Cowboys there, though. The Cardinals can keep up with them in a shootout, and I think they're they need a win here. Like they're going to be going all out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Panther. <laughs> Panthers. Saints. Uh, who who actually cares? I'm yeah. gonna <laughs> flip a coin. <laughs> Yeah, co- coach. Coach just determines the pick that, for all of us. Is yeah. that is that Randy's pick or is that just yours? This honestly. is just mine. Yeah. It is Saints. I'm picking the Saints. <laughs> all right, I'll pick the Saints. I, you know, I was gonna do that anyway, so yeah, I guess Who's I'll pick the Saints. Who's quarterbacking the Saints? This I week? have no idea. <laughs> uh, good question. <laughs> I am actually. Oh, Whoa. bear! That's yeah, they're bringing me in for a game. Yeah, I got That's the phone awesome. call just now. Oh, good for you. What? Mm-hmm. Who? Who? Like, what even? What was the injury? Was it COVID? And they're coming back? Like, who? Even, who? Like, what happened? They really don't have anyone anyway, so it doesn't really right, matter. Yeah, they have, yeah. have Jameis Winston, who was put out by the Bucks. So they had to no, put him no, out. No, no, I mean, like, they were playing Seaman and then Taysom Hill. Yeah, like I think if if Hill or Seaman play, they win. <laughs> or if their defense or is Book. very good. They got like ten <laughs> quarterbacks on the team. <laughs> I'm just. I, I have no. I'm just taking the Saints. 
I'll, I'll take the Saints. The yeah, Saints. Saints. Is, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Then we got um, the Vikings Packers. Uh, oh, boy. Gonna be Packers. taking the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Also, possible snow game. Oh, yay! Woo. That's gotta be Packers. Yeah, Packers. I'm taking the Vi- the Vikings. Beat them once. I think it's it's the Vikings yeah. are gonna have a chance and. <sighs> It's got to happen. <laughs> I don't think it's got to happen. I think that the Vikings are playing for a lot more than the Packers are. Packers play for week. the one seed. Yeah, but yeah. Like, the one seed is not as important as a playoff Oh, spot. I think oh, it is. Dude, yeah. You used this argument for the Chiefs-Bengals game. I, I would argue with you that those teams are just about the same level of wanting it. Like, I think that the one, number one seed is huge for these teams. I number think... one seed means you get a bye week, so you get to rest up. You get home field throughout the playoffs. Like, that alone yeah. is just huge. I, I'm taking. You can't you convince me not to do it. This is my. This is my <laughs> Man, I'm gonna let you do it. Dude. I think you're gonna lose. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Packers always lay a stinker late in the year too, right? I mean, I feel like that's common. Well, they, they already yeah. stink. That's how they the sixteen and zero year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they already they stank up week one. They mixed it up this year. Yeah. That's when they lost to the Saints, like thirty to three. Oh yeah, fuck! I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Who are this wait? Who's the a... other team that beat the pack? Oh, is that the the fucking uh, Cardinals when the Green Bay or no? No, they beat the, the Cardinals. Chiefs. It was the Chiefs because yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Chiefs. Uh, it was Jordan yeah, Love. Makes sense, yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, this is probably gonna be a game where we just run AJ Dillon nonstop. Yeah. That's what I think is gonna happen. Seems likely. Yeah. Honestly, last time we played the Vikings, we should have won, but we couldn't catch like any of the Kirk Cousins interceptions. He literally just threw at us. Like it was <laughs> he was so bad and we didn't catch any of them. Including one at the end of the game. Anyway, <laughs> um yeah. Brown Steeler. Um uh. it is Ben's <laughs> last home game. I think he's he's just going to give it his all and then he's going to be it, it might be like his last home game ever like he might be done done like I don't even know if he's going to go to another team or not after this. I the think the Browns a, are going to browns it up. I think the Steelers are going to win this one and I don't like picking the Steelers usually but this mm. is the game to win. This is if there's any game to win. Yeah. That sounds right. I'll take the Steelers. It'll be uh, Steelers. I'm taking the Browns. I I'm think they can do it. The Browns. Let's go Bear. Yep. Yep. Damn. I need to lock still, too. Oh, you yeah. Um, did someone lock the Bills game? Yes, I did. Mm, yes. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, I'll lock Packers the Packers game. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, I, it is divisional. <laughs> dude, uh, lock, yeah, I love picking against locks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I, you know what? I'll lock the Rams. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that should be easy. a win. Yeah. yeah. That's not. Uh, then we got Randy. Uh, hold on, hold on, Randy. Yeah, we need Randy. Randy. Randy's gonna go like fourteen and two to be able to pull back into a fifty percent range. Yep. Yeah. So here we go. Randy takes the Bears, the okay. Patriots, mm-hmm. the Rams, yeah, okay. the Jets. Well, let's go, Randy. What? <laughs> the Bills, <laughs> the okay. Bengals, Wrong. the Titans, mm-hmm. the Colts, mm-hmm. the Hogs. No, Ooh, the wrong. Broncos. Oh boy, Randy. The Texans. Oh no, Randy. Oh no. The Lions. Oh god. The Randy. Cardinals. Randy. The Panthers. Randy. Percent <laughs> year for Randy. He's the dead. Vikings. <laughs> oh god, oh, no. Randy. And the Browns. Oh, oh Randy, no. you're a psycho. <laughs> What's happening? Randy, Randy's dude. losing it. He's lost it. Randy's He's like, really just it, going Randy. for the Hail Mary and trying He's to come He's literally back, losing man. it. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's it. Thanks for listening to watching uh, uh, everybody. Uh, we got football. We got football. Uh, we got not football. Here on football. Uh, and we'll football you next time. Uh, so have a football and we'll football you football. Uh, football. Uh, yeah, bye. Uh, football. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year.